Good day everyone, welcome to Video Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create a shape twin using shape hints to help to control the shape twinning. Okay, so let's first create a shape. Let's create, click inside the frame 1, then click the rectangle 2, and click and drag out a shape. Okay, then now let's click inside frame 40, then press F6 to create a keyframe. Now we click on the sub selection tool. Let's click on the co one corner here. Click one corner here. Click and drag to the middle like that. Then click on another corner here. Then press delete. Okay. So now we create a tri triangle. Okay. Let's click on the onion skin button here. Okay. To see why it looks. To see why it looks like two frames behind. Let's click on the use the direct the select uh, the sub select tool again. Let's adjust the position a bit. Okay, look like this. Okay, to look like this. Now let's click on the onion skin modifier button again to undo it, so we won't be confused. Okay, now we go to the fit in frame one. Select from twin. Drop down box select shape. Okay, so when we press. Control S and then Control Enter. You see, there's a shape twin there, which is not doing it properly. Okay, so let's use shape pins to control the shape twin so it be done more properly. Okay, let's go to View, select View, select Show Shape Hints. Okay. Uh, okay, so you see some shape hints already there. I let's select Modify Shape, Remove All Hints. Okay, because those are the previous hints that were that have some problem. Remember, make sure you select frame 1, then select modify, shape, add shape hint. So let's select this first shape hint, let's put it to here, click and drag to here. Let's click on frame 40, let's adjust the position, final position of the shape hint to here. Okay, so when when you select, when you position the shape hint in the start keyframe and the end keyframe, it'll change, the end keyframe will change to green. The start keyframe will change to, and the shape hint in the start keyframe will change to yellow. Okay, let's press Control Enter to see the result. Okay, it's still not working properly. Let's add another keyframe. Uh, let's add another shape hint. So select Modify, Shape, Add Shape Hint to add another shape hint. This shape hint B. So we click and drag to this corner here. Okay, in the starting keyframe, let's select the end keyframe in frame 40. Then we select that. Uh, shape pin B, click and drag to its new position. Okay, so shape in B, the color changed to green in the end keyframe. Let's go to the start keyframe. In the start keyframe, the shape in B will change yellow. Okay, so it indicates that position that the shape hint in start and end keyframe has been set properly. Okay, let's press Ctrl S to save. Okay, and press Ctrl Enter to export. Okay, now you see the shape pin is working properly. Okay, thank you for listening.